All right, what about this? Today I'm going to look at the Wagner Home Decor Paint Sprayer. I've been using the Wagner Flexio 570 and um, I wanted to do some smaller things such as uh, furniture, cabinets, end tables, that kind of stuff. Um, this says that it has a um, very smooth finish, no brush marks, paint saving controls, so I hope it works out well. Let's open it up and see what we have. Alright, instruction manual. Pretty basic. There's the paint can. And let's see, this is where the power comes from, and that's all that's actually in the box. So here's our paint can, paint sprayer, trigger. This is what powers this guy, and um, we will see what it has. Let's see this cable. Looks like it's a decent length. So we can set it down. We're using it. It's decent, and this hose from the power source goes in, let's see, it looks like this way, and this goes to this end, locks it into place, a couple little twists, and looks like there's a pretty good amount of room between the sprayer and the power source. So let's test it out and see how it does. All right, so I've been painting some stuff and I've been using this Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Satin White Paint and you know using brushes or foam rollers it's just taking too long so i ended up getting this new paint sprayer so i'll just kind of fill it up fill up the cup with this and we shall see how it works all right now that i have all the paint i need in the cup let's put this in and you can adjust this little tip depending on how you're spraying this goes on there nice and easy after you have that attached, just take this hose, and just slide it right in, like so. We have the other end of the hose attached to the power unit, and I have it plugged into the wall. So let's see where we can go with this. And before, I think I said that this locks it into place, but actually what it does, it, it adjusts the amount of paint that's actually gonna come out of the sprayer. So there's three, basically, three different notches on here, and they all have incremental adjustments in between the three different settings. And then in the front, we can adjust how we want the spray just by loosening this up a little bit, and we can twist this. Here, we're gonna get an up and down spray, and up and down, we're gonna get a left to right spray. And it has little dots on there showing where the spray is actually gonna be. Let's go horizontal first. It's kind of loud, but let's test it out on the sheet that they gave us. Right there, that's a lot of spray coverage, so I can adjust it down to very little spray. It's really nice coverage. Now let me try it on the other angle. Here would be a vertical spray. So we'll see how it works on my furniture now. Now here's a piece I've been working on. Um, I used that Flexio sprayer to just try it out to see how it worked. Um, wasn't too happy with it. Needed to get a little bit more precision with my control. So I got this guy right here and um, let's test it out and see how it works. <laughs>
I'm pretty happy with the way that the um, Wagner Home Decor paint sprayer came out. It's a great, great little product. It was really quick. It was a nice, even coat. And um, did a little design on it. And I really couldn't be happier. So basically, what I said before was that this little twist valve was to tighten it. That actually changes the amount of paint that is um, projected onto the surface that you're painting. And between the different settings here, where you could have a, basically a circle um, up and down or side to side, um, it's a lot better than buying cans of spray paint if you're going to do small projects. And, um, you know, out of five stars, I'd probably give it a four and a half. Cleanup is simple enough. These pieces that attach to the sprayer, they come apart. Just use some soap and water, clear them out, and you're ready to go for the next time. Thank you for watching my little demonstration of the Wagner Home Decor Paint Sprayer, and please subscribe.